Okay, so game number four on the Pro-Earth team is a scary one. We have spun into some undead who are 310 TV bigger than us. At least we've got the Apothecary now, but this could be very, very tough. I always say this, undead are not a team I like to see when I'm playing elves. Because they've got um, instant free Mighty Bow on the mummies. They get tackle Mighty Bow very quickly. Um, yeah, this will be tough. I'm glad we've got two wrestler because Undead will have ball carriers as ghouls and ghouls have dodge to start off with. They'll certainly have some bludge at this TV. So having a couple of wrestle at least means we've got options for hitting the ball. But at this TV, we will also get wizard. So we have a few ways to attack the ball. Oh, did you, Shamba? Yeah, it's really interesting playing people from different leagues. It's, it's one of those tournaments that's a bit of a pain for... Um, um, oh, opponent is disconnected. You can't see that because Ross, hang on, let me turn off the uh, opponent is disconnected. Um, um, yeah, it's really interesting, like getting played people from different leagues. Like it's different time zones, which can be a pain sometimes. Like you don't know where your opponents are going to be coming from. Um, but I, I do enjoy like I enjoy team tournaments in general even though I've just quit Rebel Clan League um, I enjoy even though I'm taking a break from Rebel I quite enjoy representing Rebel I like the people who are on my team it's fun okay so um, hang on so it's probably this is what our team looks like after three games we've got a bludge Blitzer, we've got a wrestle dodge catcher, we've got a wrestle lineman, the rest is all just as it starts, no bench. We are up against the undead who look like this. They've got two mighty bow, they've got four mighty bow, they haven't got tackle on their mighty bow, and they actually haven't got any blodge, interestingly. They've got an agility up goal. Nice team, slightly weird choice in development. I would have wanted to tackle here over the Dauntless, um, but lots of guys, very, very strong. Not such a strong record. We'll take the wizard for certain. And then what? Um, could take two babes, could take a second apothecary, could take an extra player. I quite like to take an extra player. Because we're going to lose players in this game. They've got um, all that mighty blow, so just having a 12th is not bad at all. Um, we could just make it a thrower, because why not? It's still within the budget. Um, Kaylorn obviously paying more attention to the build than I did. Noticed that it was four rerolls and three coaches. I did not notice that. So. We'll kick first. Um. Right. No tackle is definitely nice. We do like to see that. Let's put our bonus throw on the line. Let's sub out a regular lineman. Let me sub out throw. To put you on the line. And then we can do our nice full pitch coverage formation that I like a lot. Confident start for our opponent. Could you see that? Our opponent. Let me hide Ruskin for a second. You will probably win. It will hurt a lot. I feel like this is the... Um, who's the guy from Rocky? The Russian one. Um, the um, Ivan Drago. <laughs> like, this is the if she dies, she dies. Although, I don't think he conceded defeat immediately. I think he actually tried to win with the killing. 
cheeky bits, but it's been nice. That's not cheeky bits. It's a free reroll, which makes sense if they've got three coaches out on their team. We have got the fame that if they've got uh, three coaching assistants, they're going to win that every time. Okay, good job. Einbund Schererin. Not being dead, congratulations. Good job, Penef Penef. Strong start here. Everyone choosing not to be dead. I really appreciate it. If he dies, he dies, he van Drago. Yeah. Google Translate says a post team is called Park Mortuary. Full instant reroll, so you don't have one for the pickup? No. Okay, that was a good line. We've still got the blitz to come. Are they going to go after the bludge? No, they're just going to do some basing everywhere. So this could be a free surf. We'll see. Hey, Logics, how are you? I was talking about Chaos Invitational. <coughs> Uh, the Blood Bowl's been pretty good so far today. We've got um, a new pro Yay. team. We've got two wins and a draw so far. Yeah, let me know if you want to play later today, Logics. I would be up for it. Although I, there's one other game that's more of a priority because I could play you on another day more easily, whereas my other one is um, with a opponent from the US. So I do really need to play it today if I can. I saw Logics, if you're there and listening, I saw that um, the... Um, the unbeaten team in your squad, the Norse, took their first loss. Which obviously I was pleased about. In my attempts to be first. Not that it matters because it's a team tournament, but still, there's a little bit of pride. All right. So we've got a hit here. Do we just take the surf? Because I think we can hit the ball. Especially if we did that in here. I think I'm just not in a rush to the ball, so taking a player off is pretty nice. Like, normally I'd be like, yeah, you gotta take the hit while it's there. I just, I don't think that's the last chance we're going to get um, on the ball, especially with the wizard in hand. Maybe I'll live to regret that. We'll see. We will see. Uh, I'm dodge that one. So we take this first. Good. And need to stop that from being counter surfed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, Logic. So you've got um, you've got a really nice human team. Like all that guard is going to be difficult. Um, it's it's a really interesting matchup. Like I think it's it's like um, because Amazons are obviously good. Like I've enjoyed playing them because they're good, but they are very cheesy. And so some of the matchups I've played have been 
very favoured for me, which is why the record is so good, really. Um, but like that team you've got has got the punching power. It's got the tackle mighty bow. I think it'll be a really interesting game. It's the guard you've got, actually, that's most sort of scary to me. Those guard catches are really nice. It's silly, but one of the reasons I like going for that surf there and I like doing the surf early is just that once you've done a surf on an opponent once, I feel like it's in their head more. Like, once they've sort of done that, not thinking they're going to get surfed, and then it happens, there's a bit of like, oh, actually, need to be more careful around the sidelines. <laughs> yeah, the ball carrier only just got... I can't, did it just get the agility? I can't remember because I haven't played them in a while. It feels like it's been a few weeks since I got to play that team. Because um, it had, I think, the strength already and then it got the agility now. It's kind of crazy that like the ball carrier, the main ball carrier still hasn't got to show hands or block because it just keeps rolling the stupid stuff. We're coming in for a foul here. Oh, we're coming in for a one on the GFI. Okay, that ball is very not protected. Um, and so we just stand you up. I guess we hit with a wrestle. I wanted to hit with a block, but I don't want to roll a GFI that I don't have to, so let's do that. And then we'll hit from here. Maybe I'll just move you off the sideline now. Move you to there, because we'll take that hit later. Oh, the mouse has gone weird. All right, let's do this. Here we go. It's inconvenient. Um, oh, come on, mouse. Don't be weird on me. And I guess we've got this here. And we've got some dodges to do. We follow here to put the base on the ball. It's a shame it isn't a knockdown. Um, dodge the catcher. Probably getting too many players on the wrong side of this actually now, but what's done is done. Okay, dodging those out is nice. Yeah, I would have preferred to be able to hit the ball with a block instead of wrestle, because then we'd have that still standing and sidestep on the ball, but it's fine. Oh, was the IG then the strength? Okay, yeah, it was that way around. I played one season of Sons in CIM 841, but not your 710. Yeah, I mean, mostly I have had very friendly matchups. I did play one game against Dwarfs, which I won, which I was very pleased about because I have been saying to my captain, just don't put me on Dwarfs. And then they put me on Dwarfs and I was like, damn it. Um, but we managed to get the win against Dwarfs anyway. Amazons against Dwarfs is one of those weird matchups where like, obviously like it's it's definitely not the one you want, right? Like, because it's taking away the one skill that you're, um, that, you're, that you've got that like is makes your team strong. But it's, n I think it's not as bad as people often think it is. If you've got enough guard, you can hang with the with the dwarfs. I think going on offense first is really important. Um, if you've got the spare bench or dirty player to do some fouling, that helps as well. It's it's really really bad. It's just not the auto loss. I think people sort of treat it as sometimes. You can beat dwarfs with Amazons. It's probably harder at higher TV when the dwarfs have more tackle mighty bow. Well, they have tackle, but they have more mighty bow, I guess. We're just going to try to dodge this through instead of taking a 
a block to get it free. You could just one, two, three, four, five, six bits from this one. for the bits that I thought they would. That does mean the dodge is slightly easier coming forward. Doesn't make it. Okay, that's nice. Cheeky KO, good for us. Pretty unlucky to be fair for our opponent to get that one in nine. I think they could have done that better because they could have just come and blitz this and there would have been no dodge. Um, but um, still unlucky for them. Lovely stun there as well. Okay, what are we going to do here? It's still not the easiest board to get because you've got two players on it and the one outside is so strong it's hard for us to get the hit on it and this one is a bad angle to hit because of the guard so I don't know if we're just going to end up trying a 4 plus pick up what I'd like to do is to move you but the best I can do on that is a 1 dice maybe that's still the right decision stand you up and I think we go for the 1 dice don't we I think that's the right play because then at least it's a 3 plus to pick up. So it's a 2 plus 3 plus if we do it this way effectively. With an extra 2 plus because we're going to dodge off here as well. But that one's got the built-in reroll. So let's do that. A nice bonk there. And we'll, no, we'll just dodge out from there. So we'll just do that. I think I'll just stand up that one, Penef, Penef, sorry. You're only a lineman. Sometimes that's your job. <coughs> Lovely. And then get to here. And then we can throw a cheeky little vanity pass to you. We can throw a cheeky little vanity pass. It's the snake. You can tell sometimes from animation. Oh well, the ball's in a good spot. That can happen. As long as the dwarf is definitely quite dice dependent, they can just clear you. Yeah, I, I think um, I think it really probably matters a lot if you get offense first, because I was offense first in that matchup, and I think um, if you get offense first and you're able to get that eight turn drive, then at least you can sort of um, put the pressure on them basically. Um, even if you lose some players along the way, you can put some pressure on them. Whereas if it's um, if it's the other way around and they hit first and just pummel you, then it's a lot different. Double Scarlet. Wow, that's rough. They have had some rough dice. I suppose we just snaked as well. But yeah, overall, I think their dice have been pretty bad. I think we finally, find, finally found the good dice day, guys. We've had so many bad dice days in a row. I think we finally found the good one. Which is nice. I much prefer this version of the game, where we're the ones with the good dice. Base here and base here. And we've got two dice here. Um. 
stop making you up. Last Revo, he's in Palace. Okay, I was going to Vanity Pass, but not now the last Revo is gone. Um, still got bits, haven't we? Lovely. Thank you in there. So we definitely have a to tell that look what I school off. <laughs> That's all right. The, the thing for me, Logix, this week is just, um, I, from like tomorrow evening through to um, Thursday evening, I have some really busy days for work. Um, so, if, I mean, we're not in a rush because the round's just started, but we could play next Friday or next weekend. But if you wanted to get it done, in the next few days. It's gonna be tricky after today for a few days, basically. It's very hot. With all that. Oh, and that is, was that a skeleton dodge? Plus skelly dodge. Not sure where that started from. I was looking away for a second. Good. All right, so we should get our bits a level here. Maybe we can still do the vanity pass now. Take this hit. This might be stupid. Very possible what we're doing is stupid. On the other hand, it could be good. Okay. Back to thinking we're not going to get a vanity pass this turn. <laughs> this drive. That turn we're definitely not. This is um this has been a, a journey this game. There's been some ups and some downs and lots of just craziness. Cool. Friday sounds good. I'm very happy to play on Friday. That's a perfectly good day for me to push it to. Friday should be a nice chill day. A GFI coming in here. Could get out on the ball here if you make this three pass dodge. Except that's the bit, so what I'm talking about. You got. It's a KO on Torek. Yeah, I'm talking absolute rubbish. There is not a hit on the ball here. Could base the ball here. I'm no longer thinking about the vanity pass. I am thinking about whether we can stall this to turn eight. Because obviously not stalling to turn eight means another round of line of scrimmage hits, which we would prefer to avoid. But we're not too worried about defending against them because we've got the wizard still in hand. But yeah, we're losing a lot of elves here, so turn eight is looking less likely. Because, yeah, hard to deal with. Oh, with elves on the pitch, that's a nasty power for us as well. Because that's one player with dodge who could have dodged it. 
Slow things down. Another KO. Maybe I should have taken the babe. And so we're down three now. I think we may be even just scoring next turn. We'll see. Let me count the squares after this. Because I don't want to take any chances with touchdown now. We've got no rerolls, so. The removals have started to stack up on us. They're going to take the both down. They are. Well, that probably buys us one more turn still. What can reach us if we go back there? Just the goal. Because this now doesn't have a dodge, right? Yeah. So we could go there and here. And I think we can sit one turn. Try some dodges. Nope. This is not going to be a contrived way to not score here that I've been too confident about. But, you know, giving them just one turn instead of just two turns is obviously better because two turns they could score. They have got two goals. One of them's got agility four. So if we can sort it out to turn eight, it's definitely a stronger proposition. Even though it still gives them the hits on the line, which was the thing we would have most liked to avoid. Hey Shepherd, how are you? Good to see you. Have you played your fourth round game in Crypt yet? How did you on your third round actually? I know you um, drew with Andy after playing me. Okay, they're not taking the GFIs to hit. They could take two GFIs here to base the ball. But if they're not basing this one, then we're still in a pretty strong position. Cat Snack does get us, unfortunately. Oh, damn it. It's the player I want to level. I think we've got to try the apple on that one. Okay, that's not great. It um, means we can't level up this game. It means we might be on just one catcher next game, or I mean, even worse if we get more injuries yet. I'm not sure how close we are to affording the next catcher. That is a send off. They didn't do the GFI as a basis, so that is at least good. I think we just gone now. Because they will be able to make us roll dice next turn, and I don't want to risk that without um, a reroll. So at least we've got um, a score on the board. We've got a level for this Blitzer. Um, we have possibility of 11 players and um, if all the chaos come back but that's not that likely so we shall see back to 10 it's pretty good unfortunately their gore did come back but the skeleton we served didn't come back so they might be on 10 as well now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah so both teams on 10 um i'm just gonna back off here to the um the back of the pitch. Actually, we're in 10. We can't quite do all the width, can we? So do this. And I don't think they're going to do the one turn. So if they're not going to do the one turn, let's go with a bunched up formation. Um, yeah, that's the best we can do, really, isn't it? I uh, got my first win 4 0 versus Oh, it's Gobbo's with some kind dice. Oh, nice. Good for you. Gobbo's into, into elves is always tough. I was on the other side of that on the last stream, just in CCL, but yeah. With goblins against elves, you really need the dice to be friendly, I think. Because elves can just. They dance around and force the weapons off and do all that good stuff. 
that's a nice start for you then. So you've got a win, a draw, and a loss. Well, it's a middle start. Yeah. Opponents, three coaches and three cheerleaders continuing to do work. We rolled higher and had the fame, but they've had six re-rolls this half. Possibly not good use of their cash. Um, secret weapons didn't fire. Yeah, as the goblins, you need them too. That's like against elves. Like you need to get those removals because you're going to get you're going to get out positioned from that because of that with elves. So you need that to go your way. Don't worry about them. It's just someone to deal. Don't worry, Russ. Little sus. I see you, little sus. Snooze, you little sus. I don't, I don't know if I am the hardest game in Crypt Shepherd. I'm losing to everyone. <laughs> I'm sure that will get better. Maybe. But that Andy Davis is pretty good. And he's playing. Amazons, that's definitely a very tough matchup for you, for you and everyone with the teams we have. Like, you didn't have any tackle yet, did you? I mean, you had one tackle. But yeah. <laughs> Give over Star Ferret. Star Ferret, who's not said anything yet in the stream, just sitting quietly waiting to be mean to Andy. Okay, so we're 1-0 off our opponent's drive. We've still got the wizard in our pocket. We have lost a catcher for the game, which is a bummer, because also next game, and we've used our apothecary. I would have liked to be at Threadbull, Raven. I would have liked to be, but... But I also liked being um, in Brighton yesterday, so... Um... Yeah, it wasn't the timing for me. I would like to do a thread bell sometime. I only just arrived to hear me kissing to bang a table. You love Andy, really, Starfair. You just pretend. It's the same as you love Collie. She's not even here, but I know the truth. You pretend not to love Collie, but you follow her around to all the streams. Try to talk smack. We know what's going on. <laughs> I got it on my heart. I don't believe you. <laughs> um, right. So I think we just like to bang it in if we can. Um, we've got the full 11. They've got the full 11. Um, who would we like to bang it in on? We want to bang it in on the catcher who's not here, unfortunately. Um, maybe we just... Daedal. Getting another one on Daedal would be really nice. Second level on the Blitzes is lovely. So, yeah, that's probably what we should go for. Um, in which case, are we not putting them on the line? Put you on the line instead. You need to go inside. I'll be with that one. <laughs> the ferret doth protest too much. Exactly, DJ Shook. We all see what's happening. Um. Oh, do not do that. You in there. I'll take this as a wrestle hit. Lovely. In there. Okay, push 
push that all the way up. Actually. Should be super rowdy and regret it. This is the maximum rowdy play. This is just showing off with nerves of steel. This is not clever, because now if I fail a dodge, it's really stupid. But it's fun. Sometimes it's fun to do the play that isn't clever. And it's a thing you can do with this team, so which is showing off the potential. Well, we got what we deserved. <laughs> we got fully what we deserved. <laughs> Don't do this, kids. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> We've still got the wizard. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I, I absolutely deserve that to fail. I have no, I have no complaints about that for it failing. That was not a good play. It was a fun play, but it was not a good play. So now we have to go back on defense and use our wizard. Should be fine. Maybe. Maybe it won't be fine. Maybe we won't win the game. We'll regret it. But sometimes we do stupid things. Because they're fun. <laughs> that player's earned my follow. I applaud this decision. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Poor man's poison. <laughs> it, was, it was not a good play. <laughs> but it was fun play. And that's why the team name is literally most fun else. Because if you roll your twos, which we didn't, then you can do those sorts of plays with pearls. And that's why they're the most fun. Because Nerves of Steel is a ridiculous skill that you generally won't take. But having it on catches is actually really good. So, like, to be, like, specific about all of it, like, it was the play that gave us the most flexibility for getting players forward. That's like, if you wanted to justify it, that would be the justification. It's still not good. <laughs> it was, yeah, objectively not a good decision. But it was the play that if all you make all the dice, you get the most options to go forward. I'm about to be very tempted to do another very rowdy play, which is a bit of fireball on this, because because there's a lot of players in this box right now. And he's about to add another one. Three, four, yeah, seven player fireball. I'm not, I'm just, I can't, like, even if we don't win the game, I can't say no to a seven player fireball. I can't physically do it. A seven player fireball with the ball in it, it's just, it's not, it's not in my capabilities to say no to that. Okay, gets the ball, injures the ball. Gets both ghouls off. Okay, that worked out. That worked out. Um, so that's fine. Um, what's the best way to hit this? Guess if you go there, it's going to be some GFIs, but. me one GFI. Let's cover the ball first. And cover it again from this side. And take that two dice hit. Good. And pick up for you and hand it off, maybe. This is who we want to score on, so let's do the handoff now. And they're hard to sack. Um, we'll take that next. 
Mist. Good. Lovely. Did everyone enjoy the fireball? <laughs> I was too busy playing to read. Right, Shamba, um, I've never seen seven. That's not true, I'm sure I have. Um, but like seven players with the ball included. It was too hard to resist. I couldn't. Um, the perfect, well, that was actually one of my thoughts, Shepard, is that if we didn't get the ball down, it genuinely might have just been bodies in the way of the ball. So that's why I wasn't sure if it was a good fireball. Um, but yeah, taking out both goals is great. Um, this is CCL, um, which, which is, I think, the official league now. Didn't they rebrand it? We still call it CCL, but I think it's, um, it's the it's the main league that you can sign up to. I feel like an open ladder competition. Um, poor man's poison. You've done a nine man fireball. That's incredible. That is incredible. Did it go well? Imagine doing a nine man fireball and getting none of them, just rolling nine threes. That would be very sad. Um, yeah. Do you play Poor Man's Poison? Do you play online? Because basically, there's all sorts of like leagues and competitions you can enter. Um, but if you just sort of join the game, if you like have the game and go to like sign up to a league and basically choose the first options available, it's this ladder competition. I got three knockdowns and injured a chorf, so not bad. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. It sounds like good fireball to me. Okay, let's run you up here. Cause I'm just a CCL griefer, baby. That's right. Um, is this worth a wrestle? I feel like maybe it's worth a wrestle. Dodge here, and then we have a loner hit. I think the rest just dodges. And we probably should have done this first. She never gloats and I'm has great emotes. That is correct. Don't you ever doubt it. I should have dodged the one off the mummy first. Oh well. Um, I do a little bit. My best team, also I run your first, has 14 games and is a chaos team. I got hooked after that team because my first boy like you. Boom. Are people going to get sick of that one? Because now it's my intro sound when I show up on Andy's stream. I wasn't sure whether to use it for them, but it's kind of fun. Um... No, okay, good. Um, <laughs> I enjoy it a lot. I would do a shout out for Hellboy, who recorded that song, but um, he doesn't really stream much anymore, which is a shame. Wow, one in 27, big fat of. I'm not sure whether just a score here or I'm 
like, are we really that interested in trying to turn over and score again? Probably not. So probably we should just stall. Because it's fewer turns of potential fouling. Um, problem is just like no one really wants SVP except for Daedal who's got the ball. I guess like more bits are MVP, more bits are SVP in the long run will always be good. I'm not actually that fussed about getting thrower SVP, but probably after Daedal is the player who most wants SVP now. Um, he's been very busy recently, I think he has a very demanding job, yeah. He's got a second album written? Oh, amazing. Amazing. What the nuffle was that last reroll? My one. My one was just because the game is... is one or oh, their one my one's just because the game is one i'm just going for the svp and um, their one is um i guess they were trying to murder and they didn't get a knockdown so they went for the reroll they're trying to get svp as well i think both of us are just trying to get svp now really it was very unlucky reroll if that's what you mean very unlucky I'm gonna foul. It's just a line, but we're not too worried about that. Just this time. Okay. Some more screen in front of this. The reroll? It's probably not. Even though we're just going for the fan. Oh. That's the one square we didn't want to scatter to. Could technically get it. Or they could scatter it and go, hmm, maybe we should have rerolled that. Boo. Like if you just run up here and dodge and fail that, it's got a chance to scatter out. And if it scatters out, it could be a bad scatter. They could get something from it. Uh, I wasn't thinking of trying for a third touchdown, no, Shepard. If I don't, if I'd wanted that, I would have scored last turn. I was just going to try and sit here in the corner and burn time and get more vanity passes. Now, depending what they do, we probably have to just score. But yeah, they could. There's there's a world in which they scatter this out and get the draw, which is a bit scary. Like literally just run that up and try that dodge. Because if it fails, it fails, but you'll scatter the ball. And then there's a lot of pitch here where I don't have players and I've got all my good players up here. So maybe I should have rerolled that. Was was any the only square where that could happen, but still. Giving the game that chance to stuff you up, maybe not cover. They seem more invested in their murdering anyway, so. Yeah. 
is an injury, is a send off. So they won't get to do the scatter play. And it's just a lineman badly hurt, so it's fine. So now we do just score. And let's stand you up in case we fail to pick up and it scatters out. And then let's cover this. In case things go horribly wrong. Which they don't. Good. So we got the level in your end data, which is the most important thing. That'd be a nice level to have. Um, I really like having a frenzy, one frenzy blitzer on the team, but I tend to try and wait and see if one rolls a double for Juggernaut. Um, so probably it's tackle unless it rolls something more interesting, because tackle goes well into diving tackle, which is a nice sort of standard use of the Brave Blitzer. Hello, Captain Defiance. How are you? All right, spread those out. And everyone else is just hiding here at the back. Zero and zero. Yeah, it's a real shame this got injured before we could do anything on it. And it's also a bit scary that it's MNG because I think... How much did I have left in the bank after that last run? I think it's definitely not a guarantee that I can afford another catcher. Oh, that's not what we want to see. They do not seem bothered about trying to score themselves, um, but it's just more turns for them to hit us. Instant reroll. I, I don't think they're worried about picking the ball up Sky Vane. I think they're just trying to kill us, but yeah, the more turns they have to do that is bad for us. Because our, re our apothecary is gone. We're not too worried about losing these players because they're not important players. That's actually a loner. Um, but if they have time to get down here and hit our positionals, it's worse. Which they probably will now have time to move up. Can't reroll that, you've already rerolled. They have had quite a lot of three dice non knockdowns for the mummies, which probably is quite annoying for them. They could do a better job of blocking down the line. Like both of these mummy hits, they pushed straight forwards. If you position it to hit down the line, that generates more hits because even if you don't knock down, you can push and then someone else can hit. So you have to not done. They've had pretty, pretty underwhelming dice. All right, Shamba and Paneth Paneth are both on zero SPP, but Shamba is here on chance, so Shamba will try to save you first. I'm even going to give you a reroll, because what am I saving it for? And now Paneth Paneth. All right, we might score again this game. We'll see. Yeah, they have been really unlucky on the mummy. Spot man's poison. Good job, Shamba. I believe in you, Shamba. But will they murder you or will they murder Paneth Paneth? They have a choice. Looks like they're going after Paneth Paneth. Although that was the obvious player to blitz with, so who knows. Can you score? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could score. I'm not sure if you should score, because <laughs> scoring means another round of line of scrimmage hits. Which we don't really want. Because now that loan is gone as well. This one might come back. <laughs> but three now, I know, right? Like it feels good. And maybe at some point we'll really want this level on Shamba. 
But do you want to, Shamba? In your heart. It's a heart now. It's got to be another three, two. I think I'm going to click it, but I'm not giving it a reroll. So it either works or it doesn't. It doesn't. Sorry, Shamba. The good thing is they brought all these players up here, so none of them are going to hit our lovely positionals down here. <laughs> I desperately want to. Uh, yes, poor man's poison. If you want to get on the team, you can spend channel points. So it's not actually just subscribers, it's just people who um, follow and have spent channel points. If you look in the channel point rewards, there are various get on the team options. Um, I will say that at the moment, the lineman list is by far the shortest. So if you want to get on the team quickly, the lineman list is the way to go. But of course, linemen also tend to live shorter lives. Generally speaking, shorter and less glorious lives for the linemen. I say as Shamba gets something done. GFIs just for the kicks. Do I pass? No. Okay. I'm I guess I'm pretty happy in the end to get through that with just the one um perm. It's a shame. Oh, it's not even a perm, but just the one lasting casualty. It's a shame that it's the catcher. Um I spoke too soon, there could be another. We didn't. Yeah, so. It could have been a lot worse against Four Mighty Bow, and they were fouling as well. Um, WTK, just to warn you, like the the big guy list is. Um, at the moment, I think it's like half a year. People have been waiting. So, <laughs> of all the lists, it's definitely the slowest. Um, you can do it. You will get it eventually. But yeah, the big guy list is is by far the slowest. Nice six on winnings. We can definitely afford another catcher, which is exciting. I don't know. I don't need to look at those. Um, we've got two blitz levels to roll, which is nice. Kalo on first. Another normal. That's totally fine. We'll get more um, dodge. Oh, agility for Daedal Quest. We like that a lot. That's very exciting. First agility up on an elf team is always really lovely to have. Nice it's on a player that already has budge. Big, big fan of Daedal Quest getting agility. Um, yeah, we'll just go with regular dodge over here. And then let's buy ourselves another catcher. So who is next on the list? Um... The Jammy Blodger. Is that definitely right? I haven't already put them on. Yeah. Neat. So we've got, after four games, we've got 11 L's. It's always a good starting point. We've got our first fun stat on the team. Well, our first fun level. Um, we've got two blitzers who can do their main job of blodging around. Um, we've got a wrestle dodge. We've got a catcher who's sadly MNG, but close to a level. We've got a rookie catcher. We've got three catchers. The team is looking pretty all right for four games. The record is looking very all right for four games. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. 